go. And happy Thursday. Uh, it is 7.54 and John is very kindly driving me to work. A um, little bit of a change to our normal plan. Um, well, not for me, I'm going to work. John is off to London today, aren't you, baby? Yeah. Real descriptive, thanks. Um, well, there's not a lot I can say about it though. It's top secret. But I we'll think talk, we'll talk about it after. But uh, he's rather excited because he's getting to go on the train. Um, and why are you excited about the train? Because I'm going first class today. Let the train take the strain. I think he gets free coffees or something, I don't know. But yeah, I am off to work. I shall be home alone with the puppies tonight. Um, so yeah, that's always fun. Um, just they go a bit more clingy. Darwin started being a bit sulky yesterday when he saw the suitcase, didn't he? Yeah, I tried to hide it as long as possible. Um, It'll yeah, be fine. He just, he just thought, yeah, clocked it in the end. They'll be fine. But yeah, we're on the way to work, or I am. So I made it to London, um, as you'll have saw on the, oh, you won't have seen on the train because I didn't show you the train, I showed you the window. But um, yeah, I didn't get to sit in my seat because uh, I got on the train. <laughs> the train was pretty, first class was pretty empty when I got on. And um, the lady that was sat in the seat next to my seat was quite reluctant to get up and move to let me sit in my seat. And basically just like pointed at some other seats that said, that the people should have got on at stops before. So clearly we'd have bought an open ticket but booked a seat on a particular um, train. So just like pointing me to those seats so, so I sat in a different seat um, and I had the delightful uh, elderly lady all the way to London who, she was nice, she was being grumpy. <laughs> And I tried to talk to her once or twice, but she was having none of it. Except for when she wanted me to open a bottle of pop or a bottle of water for her or stuff like that, which I don't mind at all because she seemed really nice, but just a bit hacked off. Um, our train come in at about 45 minutes late. When I actually got off the train, I was not feeling great. Really hot and sweaty, um, headache. So I come straight to the hotel, took some tablets, had a drink, and I've just had a sleep. And it's now like, just gone 4 o'clock. On a shower, and I'm about to get ready to go to my meeting. Um, yeah, it's not quite panned out as I wanted it to today, because obviously the best part of an hour later, which by the way is like an hour, would have got me my train fare back. <laughs> but 45 minutes gives you nothing. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, um, I want to get ready, go to this meeting, and uh, yeah, we'll go and have a look around then, I think. That's it, dressed and ready to go. And uh, yeah, I'm off to Westminster. Well, I do. <laughs> I hope so. I've got a jacket as well, but. Yeah. I hate hills. I really hate hills. <laughs> Not made for walking, especially walking quickly up a hill. Hi guys, and I'm home, and I'm knackered because that totally didn't go to plan. So, walked up the hill. Got the train station, bumped into, uh, I don't want to say acquaintance because that sounds mean, like he is a friend of my niece who I have known for many years and, but we're not friends, we're not not friends, but he's not my, he's, he's a friend of my niece, he is godfather to one of my great nieces he's a nice chap but he's not my friend but we are friendly with each other does that make sense acquaintance sounds a little bit mean to call him an acquaintance but that's who he is um so we chatted and then i got on the train he was catching a different train got off the train went to the shop to get milk and then i was walking to the taxi rank because i was fully planning on getting a taxi home and then bumped in to a family friend called Andrew. He's a lovely chap. He's also a taxi driver. And he was like, oh, 
I'll give you a lift to the top, but I'm on my way to a job. I thought he meant to the top of our road. I was like, well, that's very kind of you, thank you. No, no, no. He meant to the top of the hill, which was still kind, but then he was going the opposite way. So it's still like a good 15, me walking, 20 minute walk um, from where he dropped me to our house. Um, and I'm carrying four pints of milk. <laughs> And I was like, okay, thank you. Uh, but yeah, and then I had to do that walk. Which I've done many a time before. But I was wearing Birkenstocks. And a new toe ring. And I'm like, what? And then I'm carrying my four pints of milk. And I'm like, mm, this wasn't what I had planned. <sighs> so I've got hit in and I'm a bit clammy. I don't like that word. But I am a bit clammy. Um, but I'm home. The boys are fine. Darwin had a mad five minutes of running around like a dork. He's now outside. I can't actually see him. He was sniffing, but he's now gone around the corner. Gilly is sat on the other sofa. Yeah. Pooped. Um, and I have been such a greedy little monster today. I've been really good all week. Like, proper calorie counting, even weighing vegetables. And then at work today, there was Haribo. And basically, yeah, I went to the Polish shop and bought one of their sandwiches because it's got gherkins in and I really wanted gherkins today. But I've not been having like bread-like carbs at lunchtime. I've kind of been good with my carb selection, but no, I really wanted a sandwich from the Polish shop. And so I had like, it's in a white roll with ham and salad and gherkins it's good um and then when i got back from lunch this afternoon there was bowls of haribo on on the, like everybody's desk and that got inhaled so emotional eating even though i've got nothing really to be emotional about but i was like it's there like i've had super good self-control but then when someone puts an oat like a bowl of haribo on my desk it's like hmm, gone so probably the steps and walking. Oh, that noise was gilly. Um, yes, possibly the steps. The extra 20 minutes of walking that I wasn't planning on today is kind of God balancing out the Haribo. I don't know. That was very rambly. Uh, I have spoken to John. He had a headache when I was talking to him, but he was on the train. And then he WhatsApped me to say he was going to have a sleep when he got to the place. So hopefully he feels better now. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I think I've rambled for like five minutes. And I'm actually going to make my tea. Because even though all I've done is eat Haribo all afternoon, I'm now starving again. So that is what I'm going to do. Hope you're okay. So I have just whipped up a Slimming World quiche and it's in the oven. I'm relatively sure I've got the egg to quark ratio completely wrong. Um, but I'm just using up what I've got in the fridge. So it might not set, but we'll wait and see. Uh, I've recorded my glossy box unboxing. It's an okay box. Last month was great. This month was okay. Um, and yeah. I think I'm going to watch a zombie film tonight because John hates zombie movies. I love zombie movies, so that's kind of my plan. Watch a film that he wouldn't watch. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my tea to cook now because I'm <laughs> Hank Marvin, even though all I feel I've done all afternoon is eat. Just really hungry for no apparent reason. True story. And it's tea time, and as it's just me, I get to do whatever I want. And I've got beans and a bit of Slimming World quiche. Um, it does, it looks better on camera than it does in real life. Here's the uh, full thing. It's very white, but that's because I used far more quark, 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 um, than you normally would. Uh, but yeah, it's egg, quark, um, lean ham, mushroom, and a buttload of black cracked pepper. And that's my tea time. So, not good. If you want this quark, look at the mess of my kitchen. Quark, cork, whatever. It's one of those things that I keep on trying because it's like good for you or better for you than other things. And 
I keep on trying it in like when you add sweetener to it and have it as a sweet thing I like it and then I just can't it just it's just not working for me in a savory dish it's not good you can see how lack of interest I have in it has I've got so much lipstick left and I think I'm just going to eat the beans that it's just cooking fail. <laughs> So, I've just been to a meeting on the 28th floor of that building, Mill Bank, Mill Bank Tower that's what it's called, yeah it's pretty cool up there, pretty tidy. <laughs> the wonder continues, Nelson's Column, Trafalgar Square, the Portrait Gallery. Yeah. It's never too late to repent. Repent for your sins. It is a sin not to indulge in things that were put there by God to raise your consciousness. Have you ever taken magic mushrooms, sir? Are you on them now? You look a bit sort of out of it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I took too many magic mushrooms earlier on today. And I'm starting to worry that this isn't real and that you're just a bunch of robots. <laughs> Look at this one here. Completely lost. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are living in a virtual reality. You are actually in a computer right now thinking that you are having some kind of experience that you are controlling, but you are not. You are in a mainframe computer system, playing a sophisticated machine game. So I'm back in the hotel, I'm hot and sweaty, and I've walked everywhere looking for something to eat, and everywhere was round, or oh, more crap, or oh, well expensive. I promised myself I wouldn't eat shit while I was away, but needs must and all. I've got a Burger King and a drink. Well, I've got it turned this way around, I might as well show you my room. It's the front door to said room. Hanging space. Tucked away, hair dryer, mirror. Good use of space, that really. There's this little stand here. It's got tea, coffee making facilities, and my cufflinks on. The IKEA, that in it. Flat screen TV, my suitcase, bin, window, Psst. bed. Not the biggest bed in the world. That's a small double by anybody's standard. That um, bathroom, sink and stuff. There's me. Shower. Shower's decent. Yeah, it's a decent shower that. Um, Toilet with towels on drying, it's just my toiletries and stuff. So yeah, there's that. Hey guys, so it's a lot later now. And here are the things that I should have done today that I haven't done. I was supposed to do the dishes, I haven't done that. I was supposed to take the trash out, I haven't done that. I was supposed to have a bath, I haven't done that. I was supposed to edit and upload the remainder of the Poland vlogs. I haven't done that. I was meant to do the Sainsbury's online shop. I haven't done that. Yeah. Fail. What have I done? Fell asleep on the sofa. Cuddled puppies. Drank Diet Pepsi. Um, yeah. Fail. Currently, oh, trying to upload Glossy Box so it goes live on Friday, which is tomorrow, which is like forever before this vlog will ever see airwaves. Airwaves, you know what I mean. Ugh, oh, I'm so tired. Right, I've absolutely sucked as an adult this evening. 
true story. But I am going to bed. And I will try again tomorrow. Hope you've had a good day, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. To recap today, today started off a bit weird. Train journey was a bit crap. Um, didn't feel great when I got here, so I was a bit worried. Managed to get a bit of a nap. Sorry, bro. Managed to get a bit of a nap and took some tablets, so feeling better. So today, what did I do? I went to this meeting. I said meeting, it was like a launch event kind of. Not launch, it was a bit of a weird one. Um, basically, it was a rugby event for the 2021 World Cup, which is going to be held in England. Um, and I was invited to this event with um, members of the press, companies that might be involved from a sponsorship or supplier perspective, and um, people from stadiums and stuff like that. So anyway, there's a lot of different people there to talk about the Rugby League World Cup for 2021. Uh, it's the third event of, of, of the third of three events. Uh, there's one in Leeds on Tuesday, one in Manchester yesterday, and one in London today. So yeah, that was good. Um, there's loads of stuff going on there. But on my way to Parliament, it's funny. Oh, oh, sorry, on my way to the meeting, I had to walk past Parliament. Walking past Parliament, um, and Clive Lewis, the Labour MP, was walking towards me. And I looked up, saw him, smiled, he looked at me, he nodded and smiled, and I just burst out laughing, thinking about his hilarious <laughs> celebration when at the last general election, where he literally went <laughs> and went absolutely crazy at the, uh, you know, he was on the last leg and yeah, it was absolutely hilarious. So I walked down the street a little bit and I thought, he must think I'm a right weirdo. So I just tweeted him. <laughs> so now he knows I'm a weirdo. So yeah, he replied. <laughs> so yeah, that was, a bit, that was a bit of fun. Um, went for a walk. You've seen some of the footage of where I've been. I just walked all around London like I normally do. It's just... Never sleep well when I'm away. So it's walk and walk and walk and something's out of it, isn't it? I'm tired now. Yeah. I've got to be up early in the morning because my train's at 7 o'clock. And breakfast at the hotel's not till 7. So I'll miss out on that. This hotel's weird. It's, my room's quite nice. Outside my room it looks hanging. And it's clear that they're doing the place up. But I think before they did this room up and these rooms, like, what the hell would it look like? Ouch. Anyway, that's all from me, so I'm going to go to bed. Night.